In the end, health preservation must be extremely simple. Here are eight good habits that make you feel younger as you live. Please push yourself to develop these habits. Professor Lee Jim Hong wrote in Simple Health that health preservation is actually not complex and does not require too many techniques. By adopting simple dietary habits, exercise, and rest, and by arranging work and life reasonably, you can regulate your body and maintain health. In reality, many people try various complicated methods and buy a myriad of health products for health preservation. As a result, they often spend a lot of time and money without much effect. In fact, the best way to preserve health is not to add more, but to simplify. Lighten your load, as author Xiaoping said, simplicity leads to longevity. Learning to simplify life and maintain a relaxed mindset is the most effective and practical way to preserve health. 1. Material Simplicity Author Fu Shirda said that a common problem with modern people is their obsession with having everything. However, the more you want, the more you become a slave to desire, which ultimately overwhelms your mind and body with excessive material possessions. Understanding self-restraint and simplifying material needs will help you avoid being burdened by external possessions and live comfortably. The renowned linguist Zhou Yogwine, despite numerous honors, adhered to a simple lifestyle throughout his life. For decades, he lived in a small house with no decorations other than simple furniture. The floorboards were worn and deformed, and he never replaced them. He once wrote an inscription for his simple room, describing the dim room, the bright window, the uneven desk, and the broken threshold. This simple lifestyle allowed him to live to 112 years old without illness or disaster. In the four essentials of health preservation, the first is to have few desires. Abandoning excessive desires and material possessions is the most effective way to preserve health. National Studies scholar Liang Sheming was very frugal in material life. When a student visited his home and found it very small and cluttered with books, he could hardly find a place to stand. The student asked why he lived in such hardship despite his fame. Liang Sheming replied with a smile, Is it hardship? But being with books is the life I most desire. He was indifferent to fame and wealth, refusing various official honors. He maintained a vegetarian diet for decades, rarely drank alcohol, and only drank light tea. He lived a simple and desire-free life and reached the age of 95. Baiji once said, to extend one's life, one must dedicate one's mind. The more material possessions one has, the easier it is to become lost in material desires, leading to various troubles and sufferings. Reducing material cravings allows one to return to inner peace and abundance. Learning to simplify life helps you to be spiritually fulfilled and physically healthy. 2. Emotional Simplicity Medical researcher Louise Haig studied the relationship between illness and psychology. She found that excessive anger can lead to various diseases. Long-term unresolved emotional issues can lead to high blood pressure, depression, sluggish thinking, and blood disorders. Prolonged internal sadness and anger are related to cancer. As Counselor Wang Yuchi said, if emotions cannot be expressed, the aggression turns inward. Once self-attacking starts, many problems arise. Often, illnesses in the body stem from emotional accumulation. To be healthy, one must avoid being infected by negative emotions. Host Do Wentao once shared an experience on his show. While working at Phoenix TV, he faced frequent script issues and had just gained some fame. Under the pressure, his mind was filled with frustration, anxiety, and confusion. He couldn't eat or sleep well. Within half a month, he showed symptoms of mental exhaustion and developed shingles. Following the doctor's advice, he took a long vacation, traveling to various places, enjoying flowers, seas, hiking, and fishing. Gradually, his tense body and mind relaxed, and the anxiety and frustration that had been blocking him were almost completely eliminated. After the negative emotions were removed, his physical ailments healed on their own, and he felt more energetic than before. There is a term called cancer personality. Prolonged exposure to anxiety, fear, and sadness can chronically stimulate and lower the body's immunity, increasing the likelihood of cancer. 
Negative emotions are like floods. Rather than blocking them, it is better to channel them out. Let negative energy flow through and out of your body. When facing difficulties, resolve internal conflicts promptly. When under pressure, manage internal anxiety, let go of negative emotions, and keep both mind and body comfortable. This is the best way to maintain health. 3. Simplified Mindset Joe Gwoping once said, A person's body is governed by the mind. A good mindset is the best health preservation. If a person is pessimistic, they attract either illness or disaster. Only by maintaining a positive and optimistic mindset can one stay away from pain and continuously heal oneself. In the 1960s and 70s, demographer Ma Inchu served as the president of Peking University. Later, he was falsely accused and faced nationwide criticism. When someone came to tell him that he was dismissed from the position of president, he responded with a neutral expression, merely saying, oh. More than 20 years later, when he was reinstated, he also simply responded with O. Oh. Despite facing setbacks and significant ups and downs, Ma Inchu always maintained a calm mindset and lived to be 100 years old. The Essentials of Health Preservation states that historically, immortals had no special methods, only joy and no worries. Maintaining a relaxed and peaceful mindset allows you to stay away from pain, overcome difficulties, and win through hardships. Contemporary Chinese artist Han Meilin, now 87 years old, remains vigorous. Despite suffering numerous hardships over the years, including being sent to a poor village, being slandered and maligned, and facing criticism and abuse, Han Meilin remains optimistic. He said, I have suffered a lot in my life, but I live very well. The reason is simple, we only live once. If I keep being troubled, it's just making things difficult for myself. This optimistic mindset keeps him energetic and healthier than many young people. The Yellow Emperor's Classic of Medicine mentions that the core of health preservation lies in nurturing the mind. Life is full of suffering and difficulties. Everyone will encounter various misfortunes. If you respond negatively, not only will you not end the suffering, but you will also accelerate your life's depletion. Since the capacity of the human heart is fixed, the more happiness you have, the less sadness you will feel, the more hope you have, the greater the pain. As the saying goes, all illnesses originate in the heart, all illnesses are cured from the heart. Nurturing a simple and open mindset is the greatest kindness to oneself. 4. Simplified Emotional Management In the 1960s and 70s, demographer Ma Inchu served as the president of Peking University. Later, he was falsely accused and faced nationwide criticism. When someone came to tell him that he was dismissed from the position of president, he responded with a neutral expression, merely saying, oh. More than 20 years later, when he was reinstated, he also simply responded with, oh. Despite facing setbacks and significant ups and downs, Ma Inchu always maintained a calm mindset and lived to be 100 years old. The Essentials of Health Preservation states that historically, immortals had no special methods, only joy and no worries. Maintaining a relaxed and peaceful mindset allows you to stay away from pain, overcome difficulties, and win through hardships. Contemporary Chinese artist Han Meilin, now 87 years old, remains vigorous. Despite suffering numerous hardships over the years, including being sent to a poor village, being slandered and maligned, and facing criticism and abuse, Han Meilin remains optimistic. He said, I have suffered a lot in my life, but I live very well. The reason is simple, we only live once. If I keep being troubled, it's just making things difficult for myself. This optimistic mindset keeps him energetic and healthier than many young people. The Yellow Emperor's Classic of Medicine mentions that the core of health preservation lies in nurturing the mind. Life is full of suffering and difficulties. Everyone will encounter various misfortunes. If you respond negatively, not only will you not end the suffering, but you will also accelerate your life's depletion. Since the capacity of the human heart is fixed, the more happiness you have, the less sadness you will feel, the more hope you have, the greater the pain. As the saying goes, all illnesses originate in the heart, all illnesses are cured from the heart. 
Nurturing a simple and open mindset is the greatest kindness to oneself. 5. Simplified Emotional Management In the 1960s and 70s, demographer Ma Inchu served as the president of Peking University. Later, he was falsely accused and faced nationwide criticism. When someone came to tell him that he was dismissed from the position of president, he responded with a neutral expression, merely saying oh. More than 20 years later, when he was reinstated, he also simply responded with oh. Despite facing setbacks and significant ups and downs, Ma Inchu always maintained a calm mindset and lived to be 100 years old. The Essentials of Health Preservation states that historically, immortals had no special methods, only joy and no worries. Maintaining a relaxed and peaceful mindset allows you to stay away from pain, overcome difficulties, and win through hardships. Contemporary Chinese artist Han Meilin, now 87 years old, remains vigorous. Despite suffering numerous hardships over the years, including being sent to a poor village, being slandered and maligned, and facing criticism and abuse, Han Meilin remains optimistic. He said, I have suffered a lot in my life, but I live very well. The reason is simple, we only live once. If I keep being troubled, it's just making things difficult for myself. This optimistic mindset keeps him energetic and healthier than many young people. The Yellow Emperor's Classic of Medicine mentions that the core of health preservation lies in nurturing the mind. Life is full of suffering and difficulties. Everyone will encounter various misfortunes. If you respond negatively, not only will you not end the suffering, but you will also accelerate your life's depletion. Since the capacity of the human heart is fixed, the more happiness you have, the less sadness you will feel, the more hope you have, the greater the pain. As the saying goes, all illnesses originate in the heart, all illnesses are cured from the heart. Nurturing a simple and open mindset is the greatest kindness to oneself. 6. Simplified Social Circle don't waste time on unworthy people, especially those who are superficially sincere but inwardly fake. Maintain distance from such people and avoid engaging with them. Instead, spend time with like-minded individuals who value mutual respect. By avoiding unworthy people, you'll find that your spirit improves. 7. Cultivate Tolerance People with a broad heart live healthier than those who are narrow-minded. Being overly critical and having a chaotic mind can negatively impact your health over time. Developing a habit of tolerance and being willing to compromise in interactions with others is beneficial. When you can let go of grievances and avoid unnecessary conflicts, you treat yourself well. 8. Maintain a good attitude. A good attitude helps you face storms and challenges. It means smiling in the face of setbacks and viewing difficulties as opportunities. A positive attitude is a winning strategy and the source of a happy life. With a good attitude, you can turn misfortunes into opportunities and make life better in the mundane. Conclusion In this fast-paced, information-overloaded era, many people have high expectations for health preservation, often believing that more complex methods are more effective. In fact, the key to health often lies not in doing more, but in doing less or even nothing. Learning to live simply is not just about physical health, but also about emotional release. When we let go of unnecessary material pursuits, simplify internal emotions and stress, and maintain an optimistic mindset, we discover that health and longevity are surprisingly simple and natural. As the ancient saying goes, simplicity leads to longevity. Those who truly understand how to live simply can achieve lasting harmony and happiness in life. Thank you for watching. I hope today's sharing has touched you. For those who haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click subscribe so we can accompany you every day. Let's grow, be happy, and grow old together. See you next time.